Hey, guess what? It's me here again. It's Debbie Nicholson on day eight of our 90 day video channel. Challenge, challenge. Get it right, Deb. Anyway, have you ever had a day when your hair doesn't quite go right, you know, or you just think you've got a new person looking at you today? Because I'm just feeling a little bit different with this hair style this morning. Anyway, well, it's afternoon now. I've been trying to get the videos done in the morning when the sun is out, but of course there's no sun again today because it takes so long to upload sometimes. And I spend, well, last night I spent a whole hour waiting for it to upload and then it had to process itself. I don't know what was going on with YouTube. Honestly, it was just driving me to distraction. I thought, I've got to get this done in the morning, but guess what? It's afternoon again and I'm still just getting on to doing it. If mind, I wanted to talk to you a bit today about how life isn't fair sometimes. And we tend to blame it all on somebody else. Life might not be fair only because yesterday, or the day before, or the day before that, you sent out such horrible thoughts about what's going to happen over the next few days. But guess what? They came bouncing back to you. Did you know that everything you send out in your your mind, all those thoughts are things? And I've been reading The Secret, listening to The Secret lately. Um, and it's full of great ideas to see, to tell you how, how things, why things are happening in your life. And when you think that life is not fair, well, unfortunately, you have done that. You've brought it upon yourself. Now, it might not seem like that to you, but when you really go back in time, maybe not too far distant time, and think about what you've been thinking about over the last few days, you might come to the conclusion, oh, well, maybe I did do that. Maybe I did attract this situation that I'm into today, and how am I going to get out of it? All right, well, now, look, when something like that happens, I suggest to you to just stop what you're doing Look at what's happening and think, oh well, how can I best deal with this? Because you know, it's going, has to, it won't go away until you've dealt with it. You've brought it in. So now you've got to find some solution in your subconscious as to how to get rid of it. And there will be one because, you know, I don't think that we intentionally attract really bad things to us without there being some solution to it. But there sometimes is a reason why we've brought these things upon ourselves. Sometimes it's for us to learn something. Um, I don't quite know what you might learn from whatever situation you're in today that you're thinking isn't fair. But look at it that way too, you know, try and think, well, you know, why am I doing, what's, what's happening? Why is this happening? Now start thinking, well, how can I get rid of it? Another thought you could start thinking is, um, what am I learning from this experience? And you know, it might just be something really small or it might be something huge. I don't know, but it's all got to do with your personal growth. So look on all challenges, which is what happens when life isn't fair. It's only another challenge. Um, think about that. And then I want you to have a great big laugh. That will break the spell, actually. Now, you might not feel like laughing, if you look particularly funny today, go into your mirror, go into your bathroom, look into your mirror and laugh at yourself. Just think, oh, no wonder, and just, you know, pretend that it's something really hilarious because you need to have a huge laugh, a laugh that comes right up from down there, you know, right down there, okay? Not just a little ha, 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 like that. No, you need to get your whole face involved. You need to get all that tummy involved. You need to get your body involved. We need a great big laugh. Now, that's going to break the spell of whatever it is that you're going through. And then you're going to sit quietly. And I mean quietly. And you're going to close your eyes. And you're going to push all the thoughts of things out of your head of what's happening today. You're going to remember that laughing. And think how ridiculous you looked in the mirror laughing, but just that even would make you laugh a bit more. And I just want you to sit quietly and to relax. Close your eyes. Just sit quietly, relax. Think about that laughing. 
and see what else pops into your head as to what has happened today. Is it a learning experience? Is it something that is teaching you something really profound? Is it something that's going to stay around? Or is there something you can do today, right now, besides the laughing? Just to help you get over it. Small little questions. Just ask yourself quietly, just peacefully thinking about it. Constantly remembering that laughing so that your little mind inside yourself thinks, oh, this is hilarious actually. This is really funny. So, I mean, where, how can we fix this? There must be a way to fix it. And you know that little inner self of yours will sort something out. Now, I just expect you to sit there maybe five minutes because you might not have time. You might be driving, you might be busy, or you won't be driving watching my video, but I mean, you might be really busy in the middle of a, something that's really important in your life. So five minutes will be fine. You just think quietly about it. Have your laugh, remember the laugh, and then just let those little thoughts that come in. And I want you to open your eyes very slowly. Okay. And then I want you to look at yourself in the mirror again. Have another big laugh. And then let's see how you can change your day. It works for me. Fortunately, I have less days that I have to do this. Thank goodness now, since I've been listening to The Secret, because I bring better things into my life now. And honestly, it's so exciting. Now, there was a time when I really wanted to go to Italy. Not just for the fabulous shoes. Actually, it was just for the fabulous shoes. <laughs> but um, just so I could go there with my little friend who's got me. Yes, and um, she wanted to go there. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice to just be able to take her if this is all the life that she's got left in her. And so I thought, oh, yes, this would be great. So I made a, a mind movie on my computer and I um, put thoughts in my head and I put sticks, put pictures everywhere all about Italy and the aeroplane ride we were going to have and, you know, all the things that you needed to do to go away on a trip. Anyway, it worked out that she really didn't have her heart into what I had had my heart into. And so the idea sort of washed off, I suppose. I, my mind must have kept thinking about it because I have inwardly for many years like to have gone to Italy because I feel like I've got relatives there. I would like to see all those famous things that are over there in that country. And when I was a young child at primary school, that was the first country we um, studied. I was just so amazed. Here was this great big land mass shaped like a boot. <laughs> and I've never had that leave, leave me. I, I've always had that impression on my mind. So when the thought about going to Italy came up, well, it must have dragged up all these unconscious feelings and thoughts and memories. Anyway, I was on an aeroplane not too long ago, coming back to Wellington from Auckland. Who should sit beside me but an Italian woman who was in business, who had some business in Wellington that she was coming down to close down. And because, you know, it wasn't doing as well as her Auckland um, outlets. And so I got to talking to her and, oh, she was marvellous. She told me all about these places that my little friend wanted to go to. And I was getting really excited because I thought, oh, maybe we still will be going to Italy. That would be great. And then I was somewhere else, not on that aeroplane, and something else Italian came to me in the way of a person. Um, I don't think they were actually Italian. They were just full of something that they'd been to see that was Italian. And you know, I was thinking, gosh, these thoughts that I had put out previously, which was quite a few weeks before, were really still returning to me. Um, in the way that I wanted them to and so never put off the power the strength and the power of your mind because sometimes it still keeps happening even after you have stopped thinking about it because the power of the thoughts that you sent out was so powerful that your mind is still out there reaching out for things that will help you to 
accomplish what it was that you wanted to do in the first place. And for me, that was to go to Italy. Anyway, since then, my poor little friend is, of course, is getting worse with her condition, and I doubt that she'd even survive a, um, uh, a near air journey now. I'm not sure. She's had to get back into a wheelchair, which she fought for a long time, but really it's best for her to be going around in a wheelchair now, and she stubs her feet, and it's just so sad watching her. That's not a very nice thing to have, that MS. Not a very nice thing to have at all. And I suppose that's something else that's not fair in life. Sometimes these things come on us and we might have picked we might have picked that to suffer when we came down here. And you know, before we came here, this is my opinion anyway, because I think these things deeply. This is my opinion. We sat on Heavenly Father's knee and he said, it's time for you to go. And he showed us the life that we were going to have. And we said, yes. I can do that. I can handle that because in our great big mature adult spiritual form, we could do wonderful, powerful things. And we were in Heavenly Father's presence. And guess what? We just were able to blink and we'd be somewhere and we were able to do all sorts of things that we wouldn't even think about doing here on this earth in this body. Anyway, so you you know, she may have thought, well, when I come down to this earth, I want to experience what that, that illness is like, to see how people are around me, you know, and people have been kind, some people have been compassionate, but some people who should be loving her have been absolutely terrible, very, very naughty, and um, I think that that's now contributing to, uh, to her downfall now I think that's why she's going further and further down so it's a little bit sad because I only met her oh, maybe 12 or 18 months ago and we've become such great friends and she's got such a lot of wisdom and knowledge inside her and I love being in her company so you know sometimes you wonder why you meet a friend like that at the end of your lives because who knows how long I've got but I know definitely that she's not probably got a lot of time. Um, so, hmm, you wonder why that happens then. You wish that you could have met them way, way back and been able to do things when they were able to do things, but that was not how it was supposed to be this time. Anyway, that's a little thing that I wanted to talk to you about. Don't worry if life's not fair. It's only a small thing. It's only going to be today or tomorrow. It might only last a week. Depends on how good you are for getting rid of it out of your head and bringing in something better. So be careful what you think about. Be careful what you want in your life. Be careful what you write down. Because what you write down is written down in heaven too, you know. So if you want good things to be happening to you, write good things. Think good things. Feel good things. Don't be doing the other. All right? Okay, well, I'm going to switch off now. This is going to be one of the shortest videos I've done, and you're probably breathing a sigh for leave, thinking, oh, thank goodness, she's not going to talk and talk and talk today. <laughs> but that's all right, because I've got things to do today that I haven't managed to do yet, so I must do them. And this will be the end of my video for day eight, but I'll talk to you again tomorrow. We have a great day, and before you go, don't forget, if you want to join my business opportunity, and you're on my Empower site, click on one of those images there on the site today, and it'll take you right through to the Empower sales funnel, and you'll become part of my team. And then, if you're all, if you're not on the Empower site, you're on the um, Deb's Big Idea Mastermind site, because this video shows on the whole three sites, um, then click on one of the images in that article, and that will take you to the Big Idea Mastermind sales funnel. Now, the one and the same, because we've linked them up, and we've got a very clever link to link them up, so it doesn't matter where you join, whether you join under BIM, which is Big Idea Mastermind, or if you join under Empower. It doesn't matter because we've got a clever way to link them up. So that once you join either one, you're with me and my team. And um, and if you're with Empower, it's of 
quite easy to um, get you linked up to the Big Idea Mastermind because Big Idea Mastermind has different products to what Empower have but they both have wonderful products now if you're thinking about hosting your video and you're thinking about what I said yesterday about how somebody might not like your video on YouTube and then suddenly complain to Google and they just shut your whole channel down think about with Empower it's $25 a month to host your videos with them and you have no threat whatsoever that's going to um, upset your program and so that's a good product to be able to get into it's only a dollar actually for the first oh so many days I'm not sure if it's a whole month or not but I know it's only a dollar to start and then it's $25 a month after that now you know even though I know it's cheap and free on YouTube but guess what when it's cheap and free things go wrong don't they so when you start feeling like maybe I should start paying for something, things will get better in your life. Okay, all right, well I must must go, I just have to go, because otherwise I'm not going to get work finished today, and I'll be up till all hours of the night, and then I will have to sleep in in the morning, and I hate doing that, because I like to get up really early. Okay, let's talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.